What's up everybody and welcome to another video. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. It's not gonna be my regular tutorial style video because today I'm right here at Las Vegas Convention Center attending CES 2024. This is my first time and I kinda wanted to show you guys the experience of what it is like to attend CES. So we're gonna be checking out the latest and greatest tech. Some to come out, some that might not come out and hopefully you're gonna enjoy this. And if you wanna see more of this kind of video from time to time, let me know in the comments. And every now and then when I experience cool things, cool events, I will make different kind of videos just like this one. So let me know in the comments, but let's hop up to the Convention Center and see what we actually have available here today. CES is the biggest tech conference in the world and this year we had over 4,000 companies and 130,000 attendees. Just to give you a bit of a scale, that is just one wing of the Vegas Convention Center and the conference spread across all the three buildings that you see here and a few more locations around Vegas. So it was hard to see it all but we're going to try to cover as much as we can. This year LG stole the show with this transparent TV and this is not a concept it's something you can buy out there today and the whole idea is that when you're not watching the TV it blends into your environment and once you start watching the show you can see the solid background that comes up it comes up and blocks the screen and you can watch it just like a regular TV so it's very cool I can't really explain how this is you had to see it for yourself for you to really appreciate it so what we have here is apparently something called drone soccer so each player controls one of these drones with a remote control and if you get the striker into the white hoop your team gets a point apparently this is a big spot maybe this is also the future of soccer some 50 years from now who knows but it looks very cool to watch your wall to do its job Messi up over One of the very common themes at CES this year was AI. AI was put in almost every single device. There was an AI powered smart pillow by Sleep Motion. Another company had AI in your mattress. We had Samsung bringing AI into the fridge to help you with automatic recipe based on what you had in your fridge. We had Vasco here with translation headset that can translate up to 11 languages all in real time. A smart binoculars that can tell you what kind of bird you're looking at. And we even had AIs in grills helping you get the best possible steak that you can get from the grill. And then there were also the weird stuff like this robot face human thing that gives you chat GPT responses in real time using a human video face thingy. Uh, it did look a little bit weird. <laughs> Look at this cutie right here. Hey buddy, are you lost? Alright, I'll catch you later. Of course, when you come for a conference, you've got to get the free swag. I'm a big fan of Groovy. I use them for most of my smart home stuff and lighting stuff. So when I saw a stand from them, obviously I had to check it out. So what we have right here is the Goovy AI TV Backlight 3 Pro. That's a mouthful. But what it does is that it has a little camera on the TV and it's able to detect the colors in the movie or whatever you're watching and then change the light in the room to match the same color so that the TV blends into the room. I would definitely be buying this one whenever it's out. Another very common theme at CES this year was a lot of AR, VR and the metaverse with a lot of headsets and a lot of cool things in 3D. This demo right here is the future of shopping in VR where a salesperson live in green screen tries to sell you something and in your headset you can see them as they explain the stuff and you can actually handle it. This company has a software that lets you display your chats and graph or anything at all pretty much in AR on your zoom meetings so it looks like those items are actually floating in front of you when you do your zoom meeting let me know if i should do a tutorial on this too some of the other random things you see is what you have right here behind me a robotic <laughs> vacuum pool cleaner this robot by Waybot actually has the ability to float under your pool and vacuum the pool to clean it very interesting concept and there were robots all through the convention 
with Samsung unveiling their latest version of Bali, a little robot that helps you as an assistant around the house and can even project on the wall. LG had something similar which was not as impressive but they tried to create something similar too. And we had all sorts of robots from hospital assistants to uh, cute robots like this that may replace your pet someday. We had this robot here that was able to accurately mix drinks from getting the ice to putting all the ingredients together and it did it pretty pretty well and impressive. And we also had this robot arm that can put blocks in the exact spot that they need to be. It's a lot of industrial use cases for this one. When you're hungry at CES, the place to visit is the food tech stand where you get to test all kinds of food made by machines. From ice cream robot machines to robots that make you noodles. They had it all. All right, so now I'm trying out the instant ice cream. Definitely not bad. All right, so this little uh, robot thingy is actually not a robot. It's a coffee maker. Weird, but let's check that out. This machine right here is called Dobo by LG, and it's meant to mimic the first spacecraft using the first moon landing, and it can brew two coffee pods at the same time. Is this concept or it actually exists? It's gonna this okay. And it costs about $800. $800? Would you pay $800 for a robot looking like machine to make your coffee? Let me know down in the comments. As for me, I'll keep on brewing mine myself. Chef Robot? What? What is that all about? Let's see. So I got excited about that, but it just turned out that Chef Robot was the name of the company, not that they actually had a Chef Robot. Disappointing. Let's move on to the next thing. The Tesla Loop is in the Las Vegas Convention Center, so I definitely had to try that out. I've been very curious at how that works. So we're gonna head down into the Loop and try it out for the first time. For those who might not know what the Loop is, legends have it that Elon was stuck in traffic someday and decided that he was gonna create a company that digs tunnels across to let cars move at speed of over 200 miles per hour. But what they have right now as a proof of concept in Vegas, you simply go down the tunnel and uh, you enter one of these Teslas. Only Teslas are allowed to drive in here and they go at a speed of 25 miles per hour, which is nothing close to the promised 200 miles per hour. So I don't know how this matched up to a proof of concept, but we'll see where this goes. Either ways, it was pretty cool driving through the tunnels and driving in just Teslas. Speaking of cars, CES normally has a big showcase of a lot of concept cars. Like this car right here from LG. It has a very slick and futuristic design, but I don't think we're going to be seeing this out in the market anytime soon. This showcase here by Heinz, which they were using to showcase their different laser projection technologies. This right here is the Mercedes CLA concept car. Just have a look at that interior. Definitely a very beautiful car. This is a concept car from Hyundai that can actually move all four wheels in any direction you want. It's also pretty fun to just watch. This one was pretty exciting. It's by Squid Mobility and it's a car which is fully solar powered. It has a solar panel on the roof that charges two batteries which is attached to the car. And the good thing about this is that it's not a concept car. It's actually a car you can buy today for about $6,000 which to me makes more sense than spending $800 on a coffee machine. Sony is also getting into the car game and unveiled the Sony Aphelia, which has this massive interior front screen and you can watch your movies, move them around to the passenger side and it actually comes with a PlayStation controller for you to play your PlayStation games. Of course, it's Sony. And this is not a concept car. You can start ordering this beginning next year. I'm gonna be keeping my eyes on this one and I might actually order one. Hopefully the price is not too steep. Xinpeng, a Chinese manufacturer, had on display this amazing looking flying car. It drives like a normal car and then it has these wings that can open up and then fly out whenever you want it to fly the car. They're starting to take pre-orders later this year, hoping to produce this sometime in the future. So one of the companies you don't expect to see at CES is Walmart. But they're actually here and they have a boot. Turns out they're using a lot of tech in their processes. So let's go out and actually check out what Walmart has to offer. For those of you who don't know, Walmart is a supermarket in the United States and apparently they're using drones to do deliveries in some states here in the US and they have a lot of AI 
AR and VR technologies that they are using in their warehouses to make sure that everything is done very efficiently and smartly. It was quite intriguing to see this. I didn't know this. And at some point during the exhibition, we actually got to have a 4D experience in a cinema room right here that takes you through how Walmart does their processes in the warehouse. It was pretty cool and I actually enjoyed this exhibit. This was just a tip of the iceberg. CES had so much tech to unveil that I couldn't unpack them all in this video. But I hope that gave you a little glimpse as to what that experience was like. I really had a great time attending this conference and that's thanks to YouTube, thanks to all of you who's been watching these videos. So thank you so much for stopping by and I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Keep learning. Whoa. No way. <laughs> Come on guys. Woo! Woo! Bravo!